Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're finally back home from Minnesota. So today we're gonna to be talking about the trip and just overall the experience and some stories we have to tell with y'all. Like we did not mention in the vlog or in the video because we wanted to make those short and just more about memories. Now we're gonna sit down and just talk about it. The plane trip, it wasn't that bad for me, I don't think, because whenever we were taking off, I was filming, so I wasn't really focusing on like looking outside or like to freak out or to panic or anything or worry about my ears popping which I think is a mess because my ears did not pop at all. Since we left, Ivy fell asleep, which I was <coughs> glad because I didn't want him to be on the airplane awake or screaming or like uncomfortable or wanting to get out. He landed, he woke up, it all out, which was really weird. The plane ride was really smooth. I expected it to be worse because people kept telling us, oh, it's, you know, gonna be bumpy, your stomach's gonna leave your... What? Stomach's gonna leave your... What? <laughs> I didn't hear that. Like that your stomach is gonna leave like you're gonna feel weird in your stomach, but I didn't feel anything at all. You didn't hear that? No, I never heard of that. We're freaking out. <clears throat> I was Don't lie I'm, to the camera. Don't lie to the viewers I'm, that you're freaking I'm out. I'm terrified of heights and it was a seat and then it was me and then it was Baltimore and Ivy. So I wasn't able to be right next to Baltimore and be like, Oh my god, it's you know, I'm scared or Thank anything God. like that. You know, I'm scared or Thank anything God. like that. But, but, I mean, I survived it. It was pretty go good until we were going to land. Because my ears started popping. And I couldn't hear myself. It sounded like I was... I had water in my ears and I couldn't hear. So, and this one was just laughing at me the whole time. But it was a pretty good ride. And I guess it just depends on the pilot. And, you know, you know... Larissa was saying um, whenever we get into Minnesota she couldn't really hear. She was sitting across from me and she was talking to me and I was like why are you whispering? I was like speak louder. I was like like I was confused and she was like what? But to what? me I was talking super loud but it sounded like I was doing this and I could hear myself talking so to me I was <clears> talking <throat> really loud. So the first day everything was good like with Ivy um, as soon as we got back to the room I think it really hit him that we weren't going home because we spent the whole day at the mall and just walking around and doing stuff and once we got back to the hotel room he wasn't really understanding that we were staying there for the night and he was kind of sad he couldn't go to sleep or anything and then finally he fell asleep so Ivy had to wake up early that morning he ate some applesauce and then we went to go eat at a restaurant he didn't really eat much and I noticed he wasn't eating he ate from there was the jello went to we were walking to the aquarium and he fell asleep so then we just went to different stores and walked around again he woke up and i fed him some um cheeto puffs at that point i really didn't care what he was eating as long as he was eating because i didn't want him to feel weak or feel out of it and i made sure he was drinking his juice and so he was hydrated once we got back to the hotel room he was tired for another nap that day he was going in and out and sleeping a lot um i think he was just mainly tired from like the flight and stuff like that and he was really <coughs> sad and down. We would FaceTime with family members that were back in San Antonio and it made him more sad so we stopped doing that. And He would cry really bad. And then um, that day on Sunday, which was Father's Day, we went to sleep like around 7 and we didn't wake up till about 10 at night. So like nothing was really open to eat and we were supposed to go out to eat that night to somewhere nice for me. But um, there wasn't really much options so we just went to the nearest IHOP and Ivy still didn't want I want to eat and I just didn't know what to do so we went back to the hotel room we ordered him room service which was a warm glass of milk and he drank it all which was good and on Monday whenever we woke up I think he had an idea that we were going back home and um, he was really happy he was really in a good mood and we went to go eat he actually ate and he was just really in his best mood overall the whole weekend which was really great and then we finally came back home we called my aunt to come pick us up because she was our ride to and from the airport and once Ivy saw her he just started bawling. I think he just realized how much he missed her and it was just, it made me want to cry because it was just so emotional to see. I've never seen a toddler have so much emotions like and Baltimore had just finished telling him are you going to cry and sure enough he did. <laughs> He did not want to let her go. It was the saddest thing ever. I think the bad thing about the mall was like the elevators, there's, I want to say at least four in each area around the mall. 
and like so they take really long because people like once you get in um it can either go all the way up to the fourth floor and then come back down to the second floor and then go to the third floor like it was hard to get to whichever floor you wanted to go to because people kept constantly pushing the button and so it was really hard so on the first day and the second day we really like tried to avoid using the elevator and we had the stroller which is not safe to use on the escalator because you're not supposed to really but i mean like people do it and we've done it before so we just did it constantly there at mall of america until larissa fell with ivy which um <coughs> ivy was in the stroller and larissa was going down the escalator and she was trying to get the wheel stuck so we, like whenever you go down you have him like stuck where he wouldn't go forward but i guess she was overthinking it and she fell backwards holding onto the stroller with landing on her butt sitting down on the escalator going down and like it all happened so fast <laughs> i was on facetime with my mom and um uh, this like, lady screamed this, as if like i dropped ivy down the escalator and yeah. he was like falling by himself it yeah like so she yelled and then like his stuff out of his back flew like his <laughs> like his shoes flew his out shoes. and like some clothes fell out it was just like it all happened so fast and like people were behind us staring at us and like i was a bit embarrassed like <laughs> i just wanted to get out of there and hurry up so then we got out and we checked ivy ivy was okay and like Ivy didn't even know what was going on. Like, my, we got to the bottom, he was like, rubbing like his rubbing head. his head because I and I felt so bad. The random fact is that Ivy doesn't watch any Nickelodeon. So once we got there, he was really excited to see some of the characters like SpongeBob, Paw Patrol, and Ninja Turtles. So whenever he meet them, he was really happy and just excited to see them. So it was real funny because he likes to watch Disney channels. He kept ordering sweet tea because that's all they drink. And everyone kept saying like sweet tea. Like they looked at me weird and they only said they had unsweet. And I thought it was pretty weird but then I was talking to my dad on the phone and she said it was mainly a southern thing. And I guess that kind of made sense. Everyone over there is really either nice or rude. I think it was more about like the workers and people who are actually from Minnesota were the nice people like people like the tourists or like people who are visiting they're the people that were kind of rude and like kind of rushing and like they didn't even say like excuse me or anything but like people like the workers like they would go out of their way above and beyond like an uber to ihop and um he actually got off the car and held the door open for us which is really awesome really nice of him but he did have his heater like way up and it was freaking hot in there i guess I mean, I don't know why it wasn't that cold outside, but it was kind of like um, 68, 69 degrees. But I'm pretty sure that's not cold to them because they're used to having much colder temperature. But he had the heater on really high. I maybe, couldn't breathe. Maybe because he thought like it was cold for us. So you figure like he was thinking more about the customers, but it was really hot in his car. And on the first trip, we didn't get any like tickets or anything. It was all on our mobile devices. But when we went to the second airport coming back, we got to Delta. They gave us our own actual tickets, which are these. It has Ivy's name, it has my name, it has Larissa's name. And we're glad we have these so we can frame these and put these away. Now Ivy's in a phase of peeling his scabs. So whenever he has a cut, he'll peel it or he'll just scrape it off. And we tell him not to and he still continues to do it because we know it, it makes scars. So whenever we were there, he has this one on his arm and he keeps peeling it and peeling it and he kept bleeding. And in one of the videos, you can see actually see it in the vlog that he has blood right here because he kept peeling it. And we had to find um, a place that had band-aids and like no one had band-aids which didn't make sense because I figured like every department or every store has, has to at least have a first aid and they had us walking around the whole Nickelodeon universe looking for it. Finally get to you know the place where it was and the lady's like it's gonna be about five ten minutes we need to call a security over to get a band-aid. <laughs> Oh my god, I was so annoyed. I was like, no, just forget it. We ended up having to walk back to the hotel to get a, a band-aid. And I thought it was like super big for Ivy's little arm. <laughs> Another thing too, with the stores there in the mall, they have more variety stuff than any other mall I've been to. Like there's things like you don't usually see in like American Eagle or like um, Urban Outfitters or H&M like they had more range of stuff which was really cool because instead of going online and trying to find it it was actually there in stores and I think with everything there was nothing really out of stock they always had the size in the back like I was looking for a shirt at the Harley Davidson store and I was like man they don't have my size like all they had was just extra large 
and then I went to the register. I was like, hey, do you have a large? And they went to go check and they had it. So it was really cool that like they had everything in stock. Like there was never a store we went to they didn't have the size that we needed. Another thing about Minnesota that I really liked was the fact that they didn't have any taxes on their clothes and their shoes. Mm -hmm. So when a sign says two for 24, you pay literally $24. That's going to be it for today. That's all our stories and experiences about Minnesota. If y'all haven't seen the vlogs of day one and day two and day three, make sure to go check them out and give them a thumbs up as well as this video. I will see you on the next vlog. Don't bring it, Larry. Put it back. It wasn't really good. Pilot <laughs> really went. Pedal to the metal. <laughs>